come back today with an over under and I'm excited because Jordan got rid of the tin. It's gone, I got rid of it, no more tin for a couple weeks. And don't mind the squeaky door in the background, we are live and not in living color. Is that legal? I did it, here it is, it's done, anyway. But I got a good one for you, I got an excited one for you. I've been waiting for this one and it is here. You ready? Bullet, 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 bullet. Boom! Bullet, no, no, wrong, wrong bullet, but it's the bullet, if you know what I mean. The Bullet 20 XD. So, we made two phone calls, I think two. First one, we were actually close, that was our bad. That was our bad. Um, we had, the first one was after their time that they were open, so that was our bad. Second one that we had, cut! All right. Let me know when you're done. Trying to get the rivet out of here. Rivet? There it went, got soft. I think he's done. He's done. We're back, okay? Hi, I'm back. Back by popular demand. Here we go. So, we made two phone calls. First one, that was after hours. Second one, boom. Uh, fine secretary picked up. Got us to Tom. Tom at, um, Tom Presley? I think it was Tom Presley. Tom Presley at Bullet. Great guy, awesome guy to talk to. Um, I, I called him, I said what we're doing, I said who we were, he's like, yeah, cool, what do you wanna know? I said, I wanna know everything. Tell me tell me about this 20XD. People wanna know about this 20XD. He's like, perfect, I'll talk to you about the 20XD. So he gave me the whole layout of the boat, he gave me construction, he gave me, um, it, it, it all goes back to like what I'm talking about with these big companies versus these independent people. Um, how the higher quality products are being used with the, let's just say smaller companies. And I'm not saying brand-wise smaller, just smaller employee numbers, not the 300 employee numbers. We're using quality products. Um, I can go on and on about the list of what he did and what they were talking about, but the thing that I was most impressed with when they were talking about the boat build, they are talking about how it's laminated together. The boat is physically fused together. So how everybody else is um, using screws and clamps on the inside of the boat, and rivets and that type of stuff that break off, especially in the back of the boat by the transom, they're not doing that. They're they're fusing, they're literally laminate fusing the boat together. So where the compartments come together into the hull, we're fused together. So this boat is completely fused together, um, which equals why it's so quiet, why you get no vibration, why it handles the water so well. That was one of the highest points that he talked about. Um, so we started talking about the boat a little bit, and he said, uh, I said, we usually do it with the 250, la di da da and I said, what about a 300? He goes, you, and I talked about speed, this, that, the other. He was like, you put a 300 on that boat, it's going 100 miles an hour all day long with the correct setup. All day long, 100 miles an hour on that 20XD, and I'm like, I knew it was a fast boat, and that is the boat that they broke the record with. I think, I forgot what year he told me, but, um, I don't remember, but I, I can't think of it right now, but he, they did break the record with that boat. Um, weight wise on that boat, it's only, it's only 1,225 pounds of 1,250 for weight. So, you know, you're not dealing with a heavy boat. You're dealing with a hand laid, um, composite construction, uh, everything laminated together. He was just, it was a good conversation I had with him. He, he was just, he was spot on. He knew the answers. It wasn't like I was, he was pulling them, uh, hold on, I gotta go check. Or I mean, he knew exactly what to do. He knew the answers, he was right there on spot. Everything I asked him, it was boom, boom, boom. Tom, you know what you're doing, buddy. Um, so the construction the construction of this boat started in 1993. He said December 1993, that's when this boat was began. It, uh, it, was just a, it was just a basic, simple layout. It was a simple layout for people to go fishing and they knew they could get a lot of speed out of it. They knew they had performance out of it. They knew they were building a quality boat that would stay together, go fast, and you could fish out of it. So they were tapping into that huge market that people wanted. So I think that's how that boat came about. It was all about the performance, uh, simple layout, but a quality ride and a quality build. So that's how that boat became. So I'm um, getting into numbers on this fine rig uh, at the 20XD. So we called, he gave us, uh, he said, why don't you call George at Frederick's Outdoors in Decatur, Alabama. George, Frederick's Outdoors, Decatur, Alabama. You are the man. You called Jordan back and you gave us the pricing. And the cool thing was when Jordan asked him, he said, all I want is boat motor trailer. Boat motor trailer. And he was like, yeah, you can do that. So that's pretty cool to me. So now I don't gotta take a boat and take it apart like a puzzle and try to re-put it back together. We don't have to do that. So 
We're gonna start this boat, starting price of the 20XD, boat, motor, trailer, 250, Pro XS, brand new, 64,000. 64,000 even, right there. Boom, boat, motor, trailer. That's no batteries, people, no electronics, no trolling motor, no power poles, nothing. Just a boat, motor, trailer. Get in it, drive it like you're a speed machine, okay? 250, Pro XS. Trolling motor, trolling motor wise, we're gonna put the 112 on the front. We got the 112 like normal, um, MDI. We got the 331s in the back, boom, boom, 127 cranker, putting it in. Uh, the MK460 charger, like we normally do, putting that in. Council electronics, of course, we're going with the Hummingbird Duels. 10 at the consoles, the SIs in the back right at the consoles. Um, the two Hummingbird 12s up front, DIs up front stacked. And of course, when we're doing this, guys, you gotta remember, we're using the precision mounts when we're doing these. We're doing the precision mounts, so there is a big price inflate there. You know, they're expensive mounts, so that's just, but we want quality when we're building this boat. So when we're done with this, at the end, you always gotta think, okay, they're using big units, they're using the high quality precision mounts, they're putting, you know, 112s, they're putting that kind of stuff on. So you gotta remember that. So you can do better pricing wise, but we're loading this thing up. So just so you remember that when we're doing this. Uh, miscellaneous options, we're putting the two eight foot blades in the back, power poles, the custom cover from those guys, uh, the hot foot with the slide, of course, because you got shorter guys, you got fatter guys, you got skinnier guys, you got taller guys, you got all that stuff. So we got to put the slide plate in. Um, hydraulic jack plate from Bob's, we're going with the Bob's hydraulic jack plate, blinker slash lever slash paddle slash whatever trim. Um, a Mercury Smartcraft gauge, custom gauges from the other ones from Mercury. Uh, the precision mounts, like I just talked about, Council and up front. The trailer options uh, come single ax come single axle. You can upgrade to the tandem, but it comes single axle, uh, ratchet tie down, stainless steel fenders, spare tire with carrier. Um, so everything on board, everything out the door, not out the door, everything loaded up like we just said, from the 112 to the two tens to the two twelves to the blades to the hot foot to the jack plate to the trailer, everything out the door. You ready? You hear the drum roll in the back? It's actually a little guitar. 83,800 bucks, 83.8 for the 20XD. 83,800 bucks, fully, completely, probably overloaded for the boat. Um, ready to go fishing at tournament level, high end, ready to go, 83.8. So that's the 20XD. I got two, I got another one for you, you ready? Keep that, keep that price in your head, 83.8, 20XD. Now we're going to the 21XRX. The 21XRS, XRS, 21. I was talking to him about that, I was talking to Tom about that boat, and he said that boat's the 21 footer with the modern day fishing ability. So they've done some changes to it. It's the boat Andy Morgan runs. So if you see Andy Morgan out there, real tree, had a long talk, and I'm gonna get into this um, about when I start talking about company, but um i saw andy's boat when he was here it, unbelievable rig um so basically all the same options on the 21 xrs designed for today's style fishing is basically what he said what tom said um in the 21 foot market all the same stuff the 112 the hummingbirds la dee da dee da blades all the way down to um tandem axle trailer it's going to be a tandem axle on the 21 um, spare tire, everything else. The 21 XRS comes fully loaded, same way we're talking, for 86.3. 86.3, 250 Pro XS, 86.3. Um, that's, that's there, man. I mean, that is really there. That is really, really there. So you're looking at less than $3,000 for another foot in the modern day style fishing so if you're spending 83, 84,000, you might as well spend 86,000 in my eyes to get the 21 footer tandem axle fully loaded. And this is the kicker here. All right, so then I started talking to him about the 21 XRS and I said, what about speed? Tournament loaded 78 to 80 miles an hour all day long. Tournament loaded, tournament loaded. Full live boxes, full live wells, full of tackle. Um, also, also, are you ready for this? Do it in the side. So that's tournament loaded, not single. Everything, full gas, 78 to 80 miles an hour tournament load. That is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um, so when we're talking comparisons, the 20XD and the 21XRS, all the same options, a foot, foot and a half bigger. Um, tandem axle trailer is really the only change with the options, 86.3. You know, 
great bolt. Both of them are great bolt. Same construction, high quality construction, um, hand laid. They're, they're taking the time individually to do what they do there at Bullet. So, and I started talking about company. I said, what about the company? How many people? 24 people, 24 people work there. And he said that's from secretaries all the way up to manufacturing, 24 people. Um, and I said, what about dealers? How many dealers you got? 20 dealers in the States. They got two in Japan, one in Europe, and I forgot where the other one was. He did have another one overseas somewhere out of the country. But they got basically 20 dealers here in, um, in the States. So there's options to buy these bullets. You can go check them out. We talked about company and he said, the biggest thing they have, when they're talking about company, I was talking to him about the people that work there. They have eight people, around eight people that have been there for 30 years or more. 30 years or more building boats. That's dedication, people. That's what we're talking about, dedication. Um, four that have been there for like 20 to 28 years, somewhere in that ballpark. So you're talking, you're talking 12 people out of the 24 that work there. Half the people have been there for at least 20 years, two decades. That's impressive. That's impressive. That says something about the ownership. That says something about the brand. That says something about the quality of craftsmanship. And the people that work there enjoy what they do because they know they're building a quality product from start to finish. That's what's important. That is what is important here. And it's got the American flag on the side. So when they're done, they're proud of what they made. Um, we, we talked to him also about, I, I mentioned the Andy Morgan thing to him and I said, you know, I was able to talk to Andy when he was here in lacrosse for the MLF. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, unbelievable, great guy. And I think Andy Morgan probably best reflects bullet boats, the, the, kind, of, the kind of company that they are, the kind of boats that they build. Andy, my son stood on the curb across the street from Andy Morgan and he had a set of sheds in his hand. And if you go on Andy's Facebook page, you'll see my son there standing next to him. He's got a set of sheds that we found up here in Wisconsin and he had those in his hand. Andy Morgan literally put his truck in park, got out of the truck, in the road, walked around, told his wife to get in the driver's seat and move the truck. And Andy Morgan took my grab, talked to my son, grabbed the sheds, and they literally stood there and talked about deer and fishing for, I would say probably 40 minutes. The man took out of his time, out of his day, while he was in his truck, when he was supposed to be in the MLF things, doing what he's doing PR, he's out talking to my son and talking about hunting and fishing and deer in Wisconsin, deer versus down south. And it was just a complete reflection, I believe, of Bullet Boats and Bullet the brand. Andy Morgan is a top-notch guy, a top-notch guy. And um, Bullet, you got yourself a, just an awesome guy when it comes to Andy Morgan. Um, and I just had to say that because that just, I think, like I said, reflects back on the company, reflects on who they are, their vision, what they want for the people. And we were talking, when I was talking to Tom and I got done, I was talking to Jordan, I said, you know, this boat may come in at 90 grand. This boat may come in at 200 grand. And it, it, it doesn't matter to me. You wanna know why? Because there's 24 people there. And I guarantee you, if I go spend $80,000 plus with Bullet and with some of these other brands, I could call them back probably two years from now and I could probably get a hold of Tom or I could get a hold of anybody else that's there. And I probably would know my name. They would know what boat I bought. They would understand and they would take care of me. We got a customer here in Lacrosse that's been well taken care of by Bullet time and time again, always have the products, always have the parts for them, always send it to them, always making sure that their boat is quality built. And that was like a 96 boat or 97 boat, 20 XD I think it is that he has. Um, and he just, the continued support from Bullet to him, customer service wise, always being able to answer the phone, always be able to talk. And, and when I say that, it's like, I could go buy one of these other brands that probably are a little cheaper, that are a conglomerate group or something like that. So when you've got something broke, you get on your boarding ladder and it falls off and you got to fix your boarding ladder because it just ripped out of the back of your boat. And you call and you talk to Peggy and Peggy sends you to Billy and Billy sends you to Tom. Tom sends you to Neil. Neil sends you to Jason. I just said that because they're walking over here. Um, and then by the time you get through the daisy chain of who you're talking to, they don't know what you're doing. They don't even know what the problem is. And they keep kicking it off on somebody else where when you get a hold of bullet, I guarantee you talk to Tom, Tom would know what was going on. He would, yeah, 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 yeah. It's sent out, we got it. Or hey, we're on back order, la di da da He would have an answer for you. And he'd probably talk to you by name. That's the importance of the value when it comes to over-unders. That's what I'm talking about here. That's what that's where I'm getting at with, it doesn't matter if it costs a hundred grand. It's the value of 10 years down the road, they still remember what I bought. I'm not just a number. I'm not just a kick out the door when it comes to these companies, especially like Bullet. So Bullet Bolts, 
Awesome, 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 awesome. Tom Presley, awesome talking to you. Um, George, owner of Frederick's Outdoors in Decatur. You're looking for a bullet? Call George down in Decatur. Go give him a call. See what you got. See what he's got. Talk to George. He'll he'll get, he'll hook you up with what he's what he's got down there. Um, Jordan said he was an awesome guy to talk to, answered the questions, boom, 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 boom. Took the time out of his day to call him back because he was busy with a customer when we called and he got on his phone and called Jordan back. It was probably after hours too when he called him back and he still did it and we weren't even gonna buy the boat. He just was taking care of the company and taking care of the brand. George, awesome, done. So if you're looking for a bullet, make sure you get, get uh, Frederick's Outdoors down in Decatur, Alabama a call. Um, talk to George, tell him Team Marine set you. Say, hey, I just watched this video, I'm calling you. So George, awesome, Tom, awesome, bullet boats. If I had to save my life, I'd load my gun with a bullet boat for sure, for sure. So at the end of the day, it is undervalued and it's undervalued because of, like I've always said, the company family feel that you get from bullet boats from these smaller companies, these independent owners that are just trying to make it and pushing through and employing quality people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So from bullet, I hope I did you good. But from me, from all of us here at Team Marine, our activity, Trey in the background. If you heard him, he's back there somewhere. Trey? He's not there, he's gone, he's gone. He quit for the day. But anyway, as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I now hope all bullet boaters are saying. Speed, money, no brakes. Kaboom! I'm gone, see ya.